Welcome to the Dark Mercy Lounge. Today we travel to Egypt, where we talk about one of its most infamous criminals. His name was Ramadan Mansour, aka El Turbini. He was born in 1980 in North Egypt, in the city of Tanta. He was an Egyptian street gang leader and a serial killer who assaulted and murdered. 32 known children within the span of seven years throughout multiple cities in Egypt, including the capital, Cairo, and the second biggest city, Alexandria. All of his victims were between 10 to 14 years old, and most of them were boys, with the exception of few girls. Born into a poor family, El Turbini left his family and his hometown at the age of 12 and moved to Cairo, hoping he would have a better life after the conditions he was subjected to, like lack of education and lack of money. Upon arriving to Cairo, he found the job at a coffee shop in the train station so he can make a living. But he quit after a short period of time, after he met a criminal called Abdul, who introduced him to the easy money of the crime world. But he didn't know that Abdul was the boss of the street gang, and he did not like him personally, but he liked his money. So after a while, Abdul would beat Ed Turbini up and take all his money and leave him with nothing. On occasion, he would also assault him. But one day, El Turbini had enough, and he stood up for himself, and he didn't give him any of his money. But Abdul would not let it happen, and instead, he threw him under the train, which caused El Turbini severe damage in his brain and skull, and he stayed a whole month in the hospital. During this month, Abdul died in a car accident, and while El Turbini was in the hospital, he tried to kill himself multiple times, because he could not cope with what happened to him. But all his attempts failed, and instead he became a monster himself, similar to the one that hurt him and caused him to suffer for years and he decided he will make everyone else suffer. He felt angry at the world and society, and everyone he knew, so he decided to seek revenge and hurt as many people as he could, regardless if they are innocent or not. He formed his own street gang and frequently traveled between Cairo and Alexandria to recruit as many gangsters as he could, and if they wouldn't listen to what he had to say, he would hurt them with razors and threaten to kill them if they reported to the police. The train he used to travel with was named El Turbini, and that's where he got the name from. The reason why he preferred that train because there was no police station in its route. Him and his gang started luring orphans and homeless kids because he knew that no one would care about or ask what happened to them. He would promise them to get them a job, but instead he would wait until night time and he would take them to the empty train station and he would assault and torture them and then kill them and sell their organs. He would cut pieces of their flesh and consume it right before he gets rid of them. And after taking their organs, he would tie their bodies under the train. So the next morning when the train starts, it just looks like an accident. After a while, people who work in the train station start to suspect what's going on. 
So instead, he started to bury them alive or throw their bodies in the Nile River. El Turbini was a sick monster that it was said that he would lie to his victims and convince them if they would beg and cry to him, he would release them. But after they do that, he still killed them while laughing and smiling. But one day, a maintenance worker in the train station was working and facing the train when he noticed the foul smell. And when he followed it, he was surprised to discover 12 skeletal remains of children. He immediately reported it to the police station, where they immediately started their search to identify the killer. During the search, the police found an underground shelter for homeless children that worked with El Turbini. They were all arrested and taken into police custody. One of those kids told the police everything and why they were hiding there and how terrified they were from El Turbini. The police promised them complete safety from him and they would tell them all other names and location of other kids that work with them, so they would be able to help. Soon enough, El Turbini was arrested, but then he claimed he was possessed by a demon that made him do all his horrific acts. He then talked about all his crimes in details and claimed to like all of it, which was sickening to the police. Then he decided he would take the police to all the location of every single corpse he buried and drowned. The police were able to identify a total of 32 corpses beside another unidentified 23 bodies. The details were too disturbing that some policemen seek therapy after that due to the trauma of what they seen and heard. On December 16, 2010, El Trubini was executed by hanging due to all the hideous acts and murders he committed. Thank you for hanging out with me in the Dark Mystery Lounge. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. That was Anubis. Stay safe. Until we meet again.